Hello friends, DK this side. On the very important occasion of Engineers Day 2022 on 15th September, I heartily wish all my fellow engineers a happy Engineers Day. We in this video on this special occasion, we will cover the SDFC bank share price review to find out and explore the possibility whether this particular stock has a potential to give a good returns in long-term investing? And if yes, what should be the possible strategy for investment in SDFC Bank stock? Friends, before we begin, I would share with you a very, very inspiring quote from Sir Bharat Ratna Vishwasariya Ji. Hard work performed in a disciplined fashion will in most cases keep the worker fit and also prolong his life. Friends, he lived for over 100 years. And let us not take it lightly about his various quotes, various inspiring quotes. He was not only a good engineer, but he has written a book on politics and economy. So just imagine the diverse personality he was. And he was truly an engineer a statesman and technocrat, we all respect uh, Vishwasaraya ji for his contribution towards nation building. Now the question arises why I have chosen SDFC bank stock for the purpose of today's analysis. The reason is very simple friends. Historically, this stock has created wealth for many investors. However, the stock has not performed for last one year. Its alpha is negative. It has underperformed the benchmark index Nifty 50 by 5.9%. And friends, uh, if you see the relative strength, in past three months, it has managed to outperform by 1.2%. The benchmark index Nifty 50, its beta is only 1.03. So volatility is more or less at par with benchmark index Nifty 50. So it's not very risky stock. And these are the fundamental reasons I have considered SDFC stock because there is some kind of chart formations which are upcoming on the price chart, which makes it important for a discussion on the price chart by doing SDFC bank share technical analysis to understand the price action and if there is a possibility, what could be the SDFC bank stock price target? So friends, don't forget to like the video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell for updates. Let's straight away go to the price chart. So let us begin our analysis on SDFC bank stock in a monthly uh, time frame. And then we will adopt the top down approach uh, so that we can understand the price action better and build our investment strategy in a proper fashion. Friends, let me clarify first that I am doing this analysis when the market is live on 15th September 2022. So our purpose is to have a long term perspective in SDFC bank. And so it doesn't matter if the even if the market is alive and we are doing our analysis, our purpose is not to trade in SDFC bank share. So friends, visually what we can see, it's a nice uptrending stock and making higher highs and higher lows kind of market structure. One thing we can observe without doing any analysis, sheer through observing the price chart that whenever shallow correction takes place, it takes support on EMA 21 and whenever deeper correction takes place like it did in bear market of 2020, it has taken support on EMA 55, which means even in a very large drawdown, this stock is historically known to take support at EMA 55. This is what we can see on this chart. It has done it here also during the bear market of 2007-2008. Now, let me superimpose some of the drawing to understand the price action. Can we see this trend line? Price has taken support here. Price has taken support here. Price has taken support, support. And once again in the recent time, price has taken support on this uh, 
trend line, which was the confluence of this horizontal line, which was earlier acting as a resistance. So this bounce back is quite significant on the basis of long term trend line, which is valid since August 2009. And hence, uh, further we can uh, draw this trend line, which was acting, which is acting as a resistance, price rejection can be seen over. So in the recent time, what it is doing is that it is trading in a rising price channel. Which means if upper fiber of this rising price channel gets broken out due to excessive demand, then there might be a price expansion in this particular stock. So broadly, on the basis of uh, uh, you know our our own strategy to build for long term investment, further we can see the consolidation which has it has done near this support area before the one white candlestick. Uh, one white soldier candlestick was formed in July 2022 and there was a rise in the volume as well. Now the price is typically trading above EMA 21 over here. So technically speaking, the entry has already triggered at something around above 1439. But still the price is not looking overextended. So let us check the uh, target what could be the possible target? Now, if I see here, it's a kind of rounding pattern, kind of formation it has done during the bear market of 2020. And when the breakout took place uh, in November 2020, there's a substantial rise in the volume. So based on this formation, if I project the target, first target of 1697 has been achieved. So when this trend is resuming, the obvious next target is 2097. So considering the current price at which it is trading, it is trading at 1523.6. So there is a still a cushion of over 38% uh, in this particular stock. And if it uh, uh, breaks out of this uh, rising price channel, there will be price expansion. The next target could be 2437. The main consideration here is that after a sizable correction in the recent time, it is bouncing off from a critical support area with multiple confluence. Now let us go to the weekly price chart to understand the price action and fine tune the price action. What we can see the during the recent time, it has a multiple, uh, you know, uh, bottom it has created over here. We can see the price has taken support here, price has taken support here, price has taken support here. We can see the earlier this level was a significant resistance and multiple rejection of the price can be seen. So this bounce back looks technically correct and EMA 21 has crossed over EMA 55 and weekly price. So considering the uh, band which uh, I will draw and then will discuss with you. This is the important consolidation band, which is typically a formation of reaccumulation band in overall uptrending stock SDFC band share. So here the breakout took place on uh, uh, 8th August 2022, a little throwback, and then again the trend is resuming. So the price is trading quite in vicinity of this consolidation band. Price is not overextended. And so it gives an opportunity, especially when we consider the risk involved versus the potential to get a reward in this particular stock. We have calculated the target of 2097 is our next target. Let us take that target as our base for further analysis and making an investment strategy in this particular stock. So friends, don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel. So let us go to the daily price chart to fine tune the price action and understand the recent price action. Can we see here, friends, it was on a sheer downtrending move. There was a death cross also earlier here and price was trading and trading below all critical moving averages. What has happened here? It has made multiple bottom here. And it's a typical formation of, uh, you know, Eve Adam kind of pattern. And the apex of this was broken out here. And the price took a throwback, tested the earlier resistance. And here we can see the formation of morning star on 30th August 2022. So now if I draw a trend line or a horizontal line, 
can we see it's a something like a cup and handle kind of pattern which has built in a recent time which is nothing but a continuation chart we have covered all these topics on our tutorial series zero to hero on the channel which uh, anybody who is interested to learn the subject of technical analysis can learn in a structured fact fashion uh, by starting watching the video from zero to hero one onwards so what we can see it is trading in a very very important uh, value zone as per technical analysis and given a breakout uh, only on uh, very recently on 14th september with a gap down opening and consistent buying forth coming in this stock on 14th september forming a breakout of this cup and handle pattern now if i want to make a trading strategy what should be the trading strategy obviously i would have put up a buy limit stop order above high of the candle of 14th september which in today's trading session when the market is live and i am doing this analysis the entry has not yet triggered so the high of that candle of 14th september is 1538.90 so we mul apply the multiplying factor on this high so entry price could be to 1300 uh, uh, entry price could be to uh, 1544 so i am marking on this price chart let us say buy 1514 just to share with you i have already done it so put it a buy limit stop order at 1554 the moment it gets triggered then only i am into trade now where i should put a stop loss now the question here is i should be careful because i am talking about the long term investment and i don't want my game to be spoiled simply because of my stop loss getting triggered in market noises so i'll see various aspect on this price chart i can see one gap formation here which is at something around uh, 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 1406 so i cannot ignore this gap and then i fix my stop loss something in this zone is around 1390 so i put it a coordinate 1390 which will be my initial stop loss uh that is 1390 this stop loss has been considered various confluences have been considered to arrive at this stop loss one i am not ignoring the gap which was created uh on 28th july which is still remains to be filled secondly this stop loss is coming below ema 21 below uh, sma Uh, 233 below SMA 144 below SMA 200 below EMA 55. Now can we see the golden cross which has also taken place, which indicates now it is in a well established bullish territory. So what I am doing, I am entering at this price, which is precisely decided before I buy something in the market. So my stop loss is 100. Uh, 1390. So how much risk I am taking? I am taking a risk of 154 rupees per share. So I know well in advance that I am taking a risk of 154 uh, rupees per share. So if I take a quantity in such a fashion that I want to say a risk of say 30,000 rupees or 50,000 rupees for long term investing in this particular stock. so it's very clear that the target we have arrived at was at 2097 let me mark the target also so i have put it a target of 297 uh, 2097 which means if i my target is attained i make a profit of 553 rupees per share while if my stop loss is triggered i incur a loss of 154 rupees per share which means i am basing my trend investment strategy in this particular stock of sdfc bank how my risk to reward ratio is 1 is to 3.6 which means in a broader sense if i take a risk of 1 lakh rupee i am likely to make a profit of 3.6 lakhs rupees this is all is about working in the positive expectancy in the stock market now my strategy which i am sharing with you that i have already put a gtt order a buy limit stock uh, order on my terminal uh, to buy this stock at 1544 in my family account 
based on the risk management, money management, and position sizing, which has been taught to you in uh, Zero to Zero tutorial series. So, what I plan to do for long term investing? The moment my target of 2097 is achieved, I will book 50% of my quantity and take the money towards the profit. And rest 50% money will be carried for a long term investing to trail the stop loss till the distribution pattern appears on the price chart of SDFC bank stock. What will happen in this process? My acquisition price, which is today at 1544, will come down drastically. So it will be very easy for me to manage the, uh, you know, trailing stop loss and to manage the risk. I need mean not to be very tight in uh, uh, keeping the stop loss. And I can very easily manage my risk for the target to play for the next target of 2437, then possibly to 2950. Targets can be revised from the time, but when we enter in the market with the positional view in a particular stock, we should be very clear what I am going to do in each step of the stock movement in the market. This is how we can make the consistent profit in the stock market, either through uh, making a sound investment strategy or sound trading strategy.